Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed Harris. I'm here today to uh, apply for my tier one contentious with the New York State uh, Parent Education Partnership. I'm here today with Wells Brown. He walked me through the steps. The, one of the first steps I have to do is uh, register with, with Aspire. And Wells is here today to further explain what Aspire is. Aspire is the registry that New York State has developed where early childhood people and parent educators go and register their training, education, and professional experience. And um, it's a central warehouse where all of this stuff is stored and kept for um, people across the state to be able to know who is in the field, what their credentials are, and what their training capabilities are. You can also go to Aspire and you can um, look up the trainings that are being done in areas. Um, I'm not going to go through the Aspire website per se, but um, so this is a beginning step in filing for a New York State Parent Educator credential. And Mohammed, you and I have both been working on this. Um, this is sort of the last step of the um, application process. So um, we've got some information here that has already been entered, so we entered your personal information, background information, employment history, and um, now you've been told what you need to, yeah, the hard to, copies that you need to mail to Brooklyn. So this says that your documentation is pending and we're going to be sending that out in the mail um, in the next few days. registering as an, for an Aspire membership. But we already clicked that. Now you're going to be registering as a trainer. What's that? Oh, gender. So, can you give everybody some feedback about this application and entering the information? Oh, the application process is quite simple. All we got to do is input a certain dates and time. And then once you do that, then they want the, us to verify the information we input it. So we just got to mail any document we have that related to what we submitted and to, uh, to New York, to Brooklyn. And then it will get back to us saying that it's been verified or unverified. It's a real uh, nice and simple process. And I know that in the in the future, um, they are looking. At, Aspire is looking at being able to um, directly upload um, the stuff, and um, so we'll save and continue. So we're going right back through again, and then professional memberships. You are a trainer in the Nurturing Fathers program, and. We'll be able to send that to them. Mohammed has been working with me as a co-facilitator in the Nurturing Fathers program almost for a year and a half now. Yeah, almost two years. And we've had a few classes. We really enjoy that work. Now, trainer information. Here we go. Select trainer type. And you're going to be looking at a... Aspired Registered Trainer, and Schenectady County. And 
and then we could go through and fill out all of these um, these areas, but we're not going to do this right now. You can see there are a bunch of, you can go back and edit this at any time. Um, core competency areas, um, which are approved to teach, and we're going to be looking for the pyramid model is really big right now. I'm not seeing some of the things that we need to be looking for here. Save and continue. Hello again. Uh, we, we just got finished wrapping up the application submission. We went through the personal information, education and background, employment history, training received, professional membership contribution, training information, additional training qualifications, and then we submitted the application. So I hope y'all stay with us while we, while me and Wells go on through the journey of getting me certified to be a parent educator. So I'll see y'all again soon. See you in our next video. Peace. Peace.